Hey tires, Darren here with another fly tying tutorial. Today we're going to be tying the hot butt silly leg gotcha. This is a variation on the popular gotcha fly. It has the added benefit of having some silicone legs added as well as a hot spot right at the butt. I like to tie this fly in natural colors like tans, creams, uh, light pinks. I don't want to go with anything too too bright. Um, I've even tied it in olives and my clients have quite a bit of luck on patterns such as these. All right, let's have a look at the materials and get started. fresh hook in the vise. Today I'm using a Mustad Signature S71SMP-DT. It's a bit of a, a longer saltwater hook. And this one's a size 4. I'm going to be tying with a tan 6 aught thread. And we just start at the I and we'll just carry the thread down the hook shank down to the bend clip off and we'll tie back up about two-thirds of the way up and we're going to tie in a bead chain eye I'm using a black nickel or a gunmetal black um, and this one is a size 3.2 millimeter. Now these can be a little bit tricky to find in these gunmetal colors, but I found the best source that I've found for these ones and a few different other colors like solid black is uh, there's a seller on Etsy actually. I'll put a link in the description. So what I do is I just figure eight these eyes on. So I'll do a few wraps in this direction. And I'll come around and under. A couple wraps in this direction. And then I'll just finally put a few wraps underneath, kind of help build a bit of a base on there. You just want to make sure that your eyes are level. So if you look from the front on, you should be able to make that a... Okay. I'm going to tie on a really fine uh, crystal flash. don't know exactly what this is called. We'll have to look that one up for you. But it's a a finer strand than the regular crystal flash. I'm just going to need, I don't know, say 20 fibers. And they don't need to match up. In fact, I kind of like it better when they, the ends don't line up at all. Just tie that on behind the eye and then down the hook shank. Next, we're going to tie in a little bit of Trilobal SDS, and this is the hot orange color. It's very, very hot orange color. So we don't need a lot. Just going to take a little bit and dub that onto our thread. Just twist it on. Just add a few wraps to add a nice hot spot right in the back of the fly. That's good. Next we're going to take a little bit of laser dubbing. You can use a tan or you can make your own. This is a tan color that I've made with a little bit of 
Pearl Angelina UV. Angelina fiber, and I think the actual color of the yarn here is called barley, but it's a nice kind of creamy tan color. So we'll just put a noodle on there of dubbing, and we're just going to build a slightly bigger than the butt, and then we'll put a little bit through the eyes here as well. Trim that out. All right, then we're going to flip this hook over. We're going to take a little bit of this uh, tan or caramel colored craft fur. I'm just going to take a reasonable sized clump, probably about that much off the off the hide. It tends to be quite a bit thicker near the base and then near the tips it thins out quite a bit. So you want to pull out some of this shortest fibers and then I take some of the longest ones and pull those out and I just notch them up just so I've got a little bit of a thicker wing. So I'm going to tie this fairly long. I'm going to tie it almost the same length as the tail here. Just a few wraps. I don't think I mentioned it, but when we tie the eyes in, we want to make sure that we leave plenty of room for forming a nice tapered head on there. It's easy to place these eyes a little bit too forward, and then you kind of crowd the eye, and it ends up looking a little bit funny, especially when you're adding uh, silicone legs on a pattern. It really makes a difference quickly. All right, so we're going to add some silicone legs. This is a bass skirt. This one's hot orange and olive. And I'm going to take, I've actually split this in half. So I'm going to take four strands, three or four strands per side. And I'm just going to pull those off first. Or you can leave them on on the tab if you like. Whatever is easier for you. Okay, so I'm just going to make sure that those are flush, all lined up. I just want to catch it here. I just want to bring it over the eye. I'm going to take four more for the other side. And what I've done is I've just clipped it off at the top and left the tab portion intact. those up. And we'll put those right on the under the eye at the other side. And then we're just going to make a nice tapered head here. Cover up all those tag ends of the silicone legs. Not too bad. I like to have a little bit more taper towards the front there, but this will do fine. I'm just add a whip finish.
And we'll add a little bit of head cement. And the only thing we have left to do is just trim the tags off these legs so that they can fly free. And there you have a silly leg hotspot gotcha. Or hot butt gotcha. Thanks for stopping by my fly tying channel and watching my tutorials. If you're new here and like this sort of thing, why not hit that subscribe button? I'd love to hear from you, so if you have anything to say, leave it in the comments below. Until next time, this is Darren saying, keep a hook in your vice. Cheers.